Hey everybody, this is Organic Airman, and today is Friday, August 3rd, and um, as you can see, I am inside the milking barn right now. It's about, I don't know, I don't know, 20 after 4 and 20 after 4 in the evening, and I don't know, <laughs> we're not really getting anything done outside right now because it is uh, doing this outside. And yes, if you look over there, there's a swather. <laughs> yes. And anyways, the swather, um, it's been being a real son of a gun. Just this real stinker. You can't get the thing started. I don't know, it's a gas, got a gasoline motor in there. There's something wrong with the ignition on there. Um, there's probably some water on here. Sorry about that. Anyways, um, yeah, it's not, um, can't get it started. We drove it up here, we can't get it started. It's all ready to go. We were gonna go swath some oats down, but it didn't wanna work. Um, the combine is about, I don't know, I'd say about two thirds ready to go. Um, so we worked on that yesterday. Um, but anyways, I've been working on swath, but we had to quit because it was raining out. And so I just decided, well, I just uh, come in the barn and maybe show you the, give you a tour of the barn. Oh boy, that's, it's really, they coming down out there. Got some running water right there in front of the barn. It's really coming down. Ooh, I got you all wet again. Sorry about that. There. Anyway, so I thought I'd just give you a walking tour of the barn. Um, being it's raining out and the other shed's too noisy in there because the rear shop is too noisy. It's um, they got a tin roof and you can hear the rain. So I thought I'd just show you the barn. But uh, anyways, yeah, this here is the back of the barn, the gutter cleaner. This here is the, our new addition that we built under the barn. We built this on from that wall to there, obviously. We built this on in 2009. Um, it's like, I think uh, we added about 16 extra stalls in here. Um, originally, the barn held 30 cows. This is the old part of the barn. This is the part that my grandpa built back in, I think it was, they built in 1955. So, yeah, we decided to add on because we were always doing switch cows. So now we get fit like 48 cows in the barn total. So, uh, but it's never big enough. I wish it was bigger. <laughs> but maybe we should have switched, done a parlor instead. I don't know. I wish we, I wish we would have. But um, so yeah, this is the new part. And this is the old part. Um, it's just a regular, you know, Thai style barn. Um, and of course. There's cats in here t taking their cat naps on a rainy day. Well, this cat is, just woke up from its nap. But yeah, I thought I'd just show you this. And, um, oh yeah, over here is the, is the uh, feed room. This is like where we, we call it the feed room. This is like where the, it's kind of dark in here, but she can't really see too much in here. Let me open up the door here. Yeah, there, that's what I'm there. That's where the silo is. The opening to that. And um, this is the, it used to be, my dad, he built this, he had this built on here. The silo was put up in like the 70, I don't know, it was before I was born, it was 70. 76, 70, I don't know, sometime in the mid, mid to late 70s, he put the silo up. Anyway, so he built this feed room on here, and this is the old outside of the barn. If you can, you can't quite see that, but that's the outside of the barn there. And I guess I'll take you upstairs and show you the hayloft. Um, It's pretty much, we just store mostly straw up there now. Um, 
I don't know how well you can see this up here, but that's kind of not very good lighting up in here. There, there. I open up the door. There, I maybe mean, that's a little bit better. We got to We put in a. Uh, our garage door in here so then we put a hole in the floor here so we could throw down throw down the straw down there but yeah this is the uh, the hay mow or the hay loft whatever you want to call it in um, yeah it's kind of a nice rounded roof in the wrap I mean the, the boards still almost look like they're new up here yet um, but yeah, this is specially, specially built um, rafters for this barn. Um, it's nice putting hay up here because it's nice and open. There's no beams or posts in the way. And I mean, last year we had this thing, we had this thing full about up to there. We had, we had a lot of straw up here. I don't know how many bales, but it was a lot. And. So, I guess the reason why too we put this big garage door here so sometimes we put in big squares like of straw if we want to do that we can do that and we have done that let's put big big square bales and uh, there's another cat napping hey kitty yeah and I know my dad he had that hole there because it used to be he used to put feet up here he used to have a hammer mill and blow the feet up here years ago that was before I was even born I I don't I have no memory of that at all, so, but yeah, this, this is, this is the hay loft where we store everything, or our straw and something, a little bit of hay back there. So here's another bird's eye view, still raining out yet. And that's the one calf barn there, got another one down there, but yeah. I'll be interested to see how much rain we got here. But yeah, we got a stairway all going. It's a nice little stair, stair steps. And I guess you've seen like the milk room, but I'll show you again for those of you that haven't seen my other past videos. Um, yeah, this is our milk house or milk room. We have a, a bulk tank, it's a thousand gallon a bulk tank, thousand gallons of milk, a receiver jar. Um, this is actually a surge receiver jar. This is actually a De Lavelle thing, I think, here. And this is the old surge um, re um, pump receiver thing here. Little surge motor, the mixture of surge and some bomatic stuff. This is actually a surge milk, or these are all bomatic here. We just keep one of these yet because, and um, yeah, I just wish, uh, yeah. And then we put an automatic, this bomatic <laughs> automatic pipeline wash. We put this in two years ago, no. I think it was, yeah, two years ago we put that in. That's nice. It washes up the pipeline um, automatically. So, yeah, that's um, pretty much what's in here. Um, and uh, what else? Yeah, no, that's, that's it. That's everything. And yeah, and we do, those of you not know, we do get inspected. We have a state inspector come like twice a year then once a year you have the federal guy or twice two years once every two years the federal guy comes in and we get a um, IMS inspection so those are really strict you gotta be careful you gotta we gotta pass them so we get we get all that so that actually the inspector lady was here I don't know a couple weeks ago and so she gave us a good grade so we had everything clean. So yeah. Oh, excuse me. Yeah, this is pretty much our the barn. 
That we is where we make the bulk of our money every day. Twice a day, we do milk cows every day, um, twice a day in here. So, yeah. So I don't know, there's really not too much else to, to show you in here. Um, yeah, they got, it's got the big, big heavy brace beams in there to hold up the, hold up the, all the weight upstairs and everything, so. But yeah, it, um, I would say someday it would be nice to do a parlor. What I'd really like is one of those robotic, um, uh, rotary parlors, that way you can milk all, it would milk all the cows at one time. <laughs> but the money, it costs a lot of money, a ton of money to get one of those. It's anything to speed up the milking process, but we usually milk with six milkers, so it, uh, it suits our needs. Um, but yeah, the cows right now, they're out in pasture, and I guess they're getting a shower out there so yeah I just thought I'd just do something a little different being it I wasn't expecting it to rain today but I guess it rained so um, yeah so I just thought I'd just uh, show you guys what what our barn looks like and give you a quick tour of that I know it's not I don't know I hope we're gonna get that swath or going um, I got a guy. He might come this evening. That I know he's gonna come look at it. He's it's got a it's got a Dodge, not a Dodge. Excuse me. It's got a Chrysler engine in it, six cylinder slant. You know, gasoline engine in it. I don't know what the leader is on it, but it needs. A, I don't know if there's something wrong with the electronic ignition. Ain't getting spark on it, and so I gotta. I hate gasoline engines. That's it's like I have this mental block up against gasoline engines. <laughs> I, I'll work on a diesel engine any day, but gasoline engines, I just dread working on them because you never know what it is if it ain't if it, if it isn't if it, it's either not getting spark or it's not getting gas. If it ain't getting spark. Why well, isn't getting spark? And oh, it just it just like drives you crazy. But anyways, yeah. I think that's that's all for this video and um, I know it wasn't anything action-packed or anything like that just kind of a basic simple video but anyways um, yeah I want to thank everybody for watching this video um, please check me out on Instagram and Twitter at organic dairyman if you like this video give it a thumbs up if you have any questions leave a comment down in the comment section Please hit that subscribe button if you haven't yet. And um, just want to thank everyone again for watching. And I will catch you later. Looks like we got about three quarters of an inch of rain. So and it's still maybe more rain coming yet. So we'll see how much we end up with.